Welcome to Butterflies of Wisdom, everyone. And I have a fairly special guest with me. Adela runs the podcast Lunch Club, which I found Adela on Twitter. So without further ado, I'm going to let Miss Adela take it away. Hi. Thanks so much, Lynn, for, for inviting me and offering an opportunity to chat with you. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Adela. My last name is Mizrachi, and I started Podcast Brunch Club, and that's, I think, how you found me on Twitter, um, under yes. the, hash, or the, the Twitter handle, at Podcast Brunch. And um, I can tell everybody more about Podcast Brunch Club, or you can go ahead and ask me any questions you want. Well, let's do both. Let's talk about Podcast Lunch Club, and then I'll interject with those baseline questions. Great. So Podcast Lunch Club is like book club, but for podcasts. Um, I started it because I was going through sort of a medical procedure and was homebound for quite some time and found myself not really interested in television, not having the attention span for books. And I found myself listening to lots and lots of podcasts. And then I had a bunch of friends come to visit me while I was at home, and one one friend and I just started talking about podcasts. She was like, oh, have you heard this podcast? And I said, oh, yeah, did you listen to this episode? And it just became one of those conversations where we were just talking about podcasts. And it hit me. You know, I it just it really hit me that – Podcast listening is such a solitary experience. It's oftentimes something that you do by yourself. And it's, you know, I love podcasts, but I want to talk to people about it. And so at that moment, I was thinking, oh, my gosh, we should start a podcast club with our friends. And so we did, and we called it Podcast Brunch Club because we were meeting for brunch. And then about a year after that, I kind of put it out there. I thought, maybe other people want to do this with us, and they can meet in their city, and we can meet in our city, and we'll all listen to the same podcast. And so I put it out there, and, uh, yeah, my first chapter was in Geneva, Switzerland, and now we have over 30 chapters on four continents. So, e Wow. Yeah. Geneva goes wild. The podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you actually listen to the episodes as a group, and then you talk about them. So sort of like chapter by chapter. So uh, with the way that it, I'm confused. Sorry, yeah, it is a little confusing. So it's not shared listening. So everybody listens on their own time, and I send out the podcast okay. playlist. I send out the podcast playlist at the beginning of every month. So, in fact, our podcast playlist for August went out on August 1st, and it basically it identifies a theme. So our theme for August is the future of the human body. And then we pick three episodes that hit that theme. So there are, the three episodes are one from Note to Self podcast, one from the Washington uh, – no, sorry, the Wall Street Journal's um, – the Future of Everything podcast, and then the final episode is from Flash Forward. So everybody spends some time. It's only about an hour and a half to two hours of listening. So they spend the next few weeks listening on their own time, and then groups meet in person in cities across the world at some point during the month to talk about them. So it is very much like book club. You know, you read the book on your own, and then you get together to talk about it. So... You listen to a podcast on your own, and then you get together to talk about it. Now, I know I have a lot of podcasts out there listening to this, and I know I have a lot of disabled out there listening to this. How does one submit their podcast to the podcast, Lunchcom, and how does one join the podcast, mm-hmm. Lunch Club? Two very good questions that I get a lot. So I'm going to go over joining first. Joining is really easy. There's, you go to podcastbrunchclub.com and just kind of look around the site. Um, you can see all the different ways to join. You can join just online and join our Facebook group. 
Um, you can always just follow us on Twitter just to see what's going on. But if you want to join an in-person chapter, there is an in-person chapter tab at the top of the website, and there's a map that shows you all of the um, all of the places we have podcasts. There's also a list of the of the locations, and at the very bottom of that page, there's also a form in case you live in a place that doesn't have a chapter and you're interested in joining one or interested in just putting your name down in case somebody does join, does, does start a podcast crunch club there. So that's, that's the way to join. Um, in terms of getting your podcast on the podcast playlist for podcast crunch club, that's a bit more difficult. Um, and the reason is, is so what we do the way that we have it is right now it's every month is being curated by a different podcast brunch club member. So again, like book club, you know, it usually rotates among the people who participate, who picks the book. So every month or every six weeks, somebody else is picking the book. Um, so similarly in podcast brunch club, a different person is choosing the theme and ultimately choosing the podcasts that are a part of that playlist. And I put the, on Facebook, I always announce, and also on Twitter, I always announce in advance what the theme will be in case people have recommendations, whether it's your own podcast or it's somebody else's podcast, you can re- recommend it. But ultimately, it's up to that person. So there's really no way to definitely get on the playlist, but you can definitely keep an eye on what upcoming themes are coming down the pike and then recommend an episode in your lineup. We're always looking for episodes, but not as much just general podcasts. We're looking for a specific episode. So, yeah, every, okay. everybody can keep an eye on the I was page and, wondering yeah. how you could do it. I'll keep an eye on the Twitter feed. God knows. And God knows I will be trying the best to my abilities. I will be trying to retweet what you guys put out because I think this is a very interesting concept for me. Thank you. Thank you. And so I have a question for you. What is your favorite podcast that you would recommend to all my listeners? Oh, gosh. That's a tough one, and it's funny that you ask me that question because one thing I didn't mention earlier is that as part of Podcast Lunch Club, a couple of months ago, I actually released a podcast. And it's very meta. It's called Podcast Brunch Club Podcast because it's all related. And it's, it's just a mini Podcast Brunch Club discussion about the theme for the month. And that exact question you just asked me is on every one of my podcasts. I ask my guest, what is your favorite podcast of all time and what is a good episode to start with? That's always my base question for them. So it's funny that you're asking me that because you're turning my question around on me. And I would have to say, like, I love so many podcasts, so this is a really tough one for me, but I think my my podcast, my go-to podcast is Radio Lab. And the reason I say Radio Lab is because it's the podcast that got me hooked on podcasts. It was my gateway podcast, if that makes sense. So I don't know if your listeners have ever listened to Radio Lab. It's a very popular podcast. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them have heard it. But it it goes into science and weird stuff and talking about just, like, really interesting people and concepts. The last episode that they did um, recently was – it was about an audio editor, which is cool for us that do podcasts to help people, you know, edit their audio. But what it does is it allows people to totally change what somebody has said. So it gets into the whole question of fake news and all of those kind of very hot topics. So it was super interesting. I would definitely recommend Radio Lab, and I would actually also recommend that, that episode. Isn't that interesting that you recommend an episode? How cool is that? No one yeah. ever <laughs> said on this podcast. Explain the episode. And so what is your favorite audio book? Now, I'm telling this question to you because I tell you, I can tell you like audio more than book books. But what is your favorite audio book? Oh, gosh, that's a hard one. You know what's so funny about your question is that I don't, as much as I love podcasts, I don't listen to audio books. I never got into podcasts. I know the same way. 
Yeah. It's incredible. I don't know I'm if the it's in the way. Yeah. I like reading, but then reading just is so time consuming and, and it's so um singularly focused, you know, in in opposition to podcasts. Podcasts are something you could do while you're cooking or you can do it while you're doing laundry or you could listen while you're, you know, commuting to work. So there's lots of different things you could do while you're listening to podcasts as opposed to reading is something that you really have to just sit down and do, which is a good thing. And I, I'm sort of upset with myself for not being able to focus like that. But, yeah, I never got – I don't know what it is about me. I never got into audiobooks. But maybe now that I'm so into podcasts, I should try it again and see if I like it. Yes. Well, I just found – and I'm just going to look this up in my feed because I just put it in my feed – and it's called Mill or a N or N A R O N. I'm going to spell it again and get it like once and fall. N A R R O. And what mm-hmm. it is, and another podcast recommended it to me. And what it is, is they, you find articles, they read you the articles. I'm using it as a system of advice when my <laughs> teachers hand me homework, thank you very much, <laughs> in school. So, and I just found it by listening to another podcast. So <laughs> I will stick this in, I will stick their website in the show notes. And I think that's wonderful that websites are actually doing that now. I agree. I think that's fantastic. So it basically takes a written article and then converts it to audio for people. Is that what it is? Yes. 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 That's great. Yes. Yes. Pulls um, all the text and reads it. Yes. And so I will stick this in the – I will stick this in the show notes for able body and especially the disabled who can't yeah. hold books like me. And so what is your favorite technology tool that you use on a daily basis? Oh, gosh. Technology tool. I mean, so are we talking like big things or a if- Simple things, because I mean, obviously, my phone is my favorite little piece of technology. I couldn't, I can't believe that it's only been probably seven to ten years, you know, since I've had my phone, and I can't imagine living without it. But in terms of like a tool yeah. that I use on online, um, and iPhones do count. I'm sorry, yeah, so I definitely would say my iPhone is like my favorite technology. You it definitely so would much. say your iPhone. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm getting this question towards you because I know you know this answer. What is your favorite podcast education app that you listen to podcasts mostly in? Is it the Apple Podcast app or is it the another yeah. podcast education app? That's a great question. I So I personally am very – lazy when it comes to exploring apps. So I will just use the Apple podcast app. And I, I've tried a couple others. I like Radio Public. Um, and I, you know, but for me, it's just, I, I'm a creature of habit. So, you know, the Apple podcast app comes installed on the phone. And so I just use that. The one thing I do wish it would do, um, and I know this is a hot topic right now with podcast listeners, is listening on um, faster speeds. And Apple Podcast app only goes to one – it goes from 1 to 1.5 to 2. There's no nothing in between 1 and 1.5. And I find 1.5 way too fast. So because I'm trying to I listen like to so many overcast. podcasts, you like Overcast? Do they have – I uh, like the, Overcast. And they do have uh, one um, – they do have different speeds. And you can customize it for the – podcast like oh, say it's cool. through, like a podcast at one point speed you can customize it to be at one point 
the the um, that podcast. Nice. That's that's good. I'm gonna try that then. Yeah, Overcast. Yeah. And Overcast comes in Android and on iOS. I know that I know for the longest time that Android has a problem with podcasts because Google is slow in their rollout, and I know mm-hmm. that new upgraded Android phones have Google Assistant that now plays podcasts, finally. And oh, good. I know that, yeah, so Google is, Google needs to get their act together. Let's just say that, because yeah. podcasts are here to stay. They are. And they definitely to are. help the podcast lunch club, most some people can't afford an iPhone. <laughs> Sorry? I said some people can't afford an iPhone. So That's how true. are they going to participate in the podcast lunch club to swing it back to you if they can't listen to the podcast? Because their phone is not integrated for the podcast. That's true. Yeah. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot of options. I mean, we put, you know, people put their podcasts on websites, too, where you can play it through the computer, but then, you know, you're tied to your computer. So having it on your phone is going to be really, really key if you want mobility, you know, the ability to move around and listen to podcasts at the same time. So Yes. Yes, exactly. So what has been your favorite moment in all this? (laughs) Oh, God, that's a tough one, too. You're asking a lot of tough questions. Um, So my, my favorite thing about building Podcast Brunch Club is hands down the uh, the fact that I was able to build a community of people. And it's a community of people who actually meet face to face. You know, I know there's so many online communities and I don't I don't, you know, fault anybody for starting an online community, but you know, there's so many things that are already online. And it's often a way for people to kind of hide behind their computer and, you know, not really interact with other people face-to-face, eye-to-eye. And, you know, Podcast Brunch Club, if people are participating in in an in-person chapter, it's a chance to put all your technology away for two hours and meet people from your area that maybe you would not have met otherwise to talk about something that maybe you would never have talked about otherwise. So I think that's my favorite part about it is just the, the fact that something that I did is helping other people, you know, people in Shanghai, people in Hong Kong, people in Bristol, UK, and people, you know, here in Chicago with me to meet in person and, like, talk face-to-face because I think that's happening so so much less often now that computers exist. So I'm happy to kind of bridge that gap a little bit. And if you had to be educated by anyone inside or outside your field, who would it be and why, and what would you ask them? Oh, my God. Um, so I have this fascination with Elon Musk. I think his brain is just phenomenal, and he's so smart and forward-thinking, and he's such a big thinker. So if I could be educated by anybody in the world, I would be educated by Elon Musk. And what was the second part of the question? What would you ask Elon Musk and why? Oh, God. Well, what would I ask him? I guess I would just ask him what he thinks the future would look like. I'm so curious about that because things change so much and so fast you know, so much faster than, you know, than our culture or our policies, you know, technology is happening so much faster. So I think I would ask him, you know, what, what is the world going to look like in a hundred years? And then why, just because I think he's, again, he's got this brilliant mind and this ability to think big and, and not be scared off by, things that seem impossible. He really just does not let things that seem impossible get in his way. So you want to be educated by Elon Musk. Well, that's a great education in itself. And I know that Tesla 
has Coldplay. I know that to both of them. And Coldplay okay. is the, um, they're actually coming out with a new test where that everything is controlled by a thing now. And Coldplay, for those of you that don't know what Coldplay is, and thinking, well, when it's nuts, Coldplay is Apple's, actually Apple's technology that plays um, podcasts over your car speakers and not through Bluetooth to your iPhone. So not through Overcast and everything else. And so I think now vehicles are getting more and more technologically savvy that you can get uh, call play in vehicles now that you wouldn't ever get before. I know that Cadillac has it. I know that hmm. Tesla has it. I know that Porsche Cayenne have it. Porsches have it. And I believe um, Ford has something similar. I'll actually put the list. I'll actually see um, if I can find a list of who has tall play. And I will keep you guys updated whether they update the um, call playlist, and I know they are updating the Apple Home speaker similar to what Amazon has. I won't say her name because she gets angry every time a podcast does. And so similar to what Amazon has, Apple's coming out. So you mm. you could say, hey, home speaker, just play um, my podcast or play a podcast off the podcast lunch club playlist <laughs> for that week. So, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. So Apple now has that, and Apple also has Soul Play, and so podcasts are here to say. So where can people find you, and where can people find the podcast? Let's go. Yeah. So the best thing to do is just start perusing the site, which is www.podcastbrunchclub.com. And you'll see, you know, a bunch of different things at the top, or if you're looking in an iPhone or a, a smartphone or tablet, that little button at the top, you can, the menu, there's um, in-person and online options. So that's how you can find out where we have physical chapters, in-person chapters around the world, and also, you know, where how to find Podcast Brunch Club on Facebook. So, and you can also just search on Facebook for Podcast Brunch Club. And we have a lot of, we have a global group, and then we have some smaller, you know, city groups. But join the global group, and then if there's also a city group, then join that one for where you live. And before I let you go, I'm going to actually have you turn the mic on me and ask me a couple questions that you want to ask me about anything. It could be podcast related or not. Well, I was thinking about this, and I really do have some questions that I was hoping to ask you, and they actually don't have anything to do with podcasts. Um, My question for you is two. One is, um, what is the one thing about cerebral palsy that you want everybody to know? Um, and then the second I one is... Question, I go get ahead, go ahead. that question a lot. And I would say, we're not dumb. We're not dumb. We can understand what people tell us every two seconds. It may take us longer to process, mm-hmm. but don't treat us as if we don't have lights on. Right. Yeah, of course. Treat everybody with dignity. Um, the second question that I have for you is what are you most grateful for? If you had to pick one or two things oh, in, your, in your life, what are you most grateful for? I'm most grateful for that I get to transfer my career out of teaching and have the support of my family to do it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm most grateful for that I get to 
expand my horizons, I'll, I'm, I have decided that I'm a full-time writer with a music teacher's heart, and I will be teaching up until 2019, if not 2020, and then I um, am gracefully leaving my job. I'm not calling it quitting. I'm gracefully leaving my job and leaving the doors open just in case it doesn't work and then becoming a freelance writer and a freelance podcaster. That's great. That's great. I'm fascinated. Can't wait to see what you do. Well, can't. I can't wait to show you guys what I do. And as I said, as you guys have been um, hinted at for many, many months now, since May of the last year, my latest book is coming out tomorrow. And I saw that. I saw that on Twitter. Touches on it. And then, yeah, my my latest book is coming out tomorrow. So enjoy you guys. That's super exciting. I, wow. um yeah, and the ebook will be two ninety nine and the paperback book will be um seven bucks and so yeah. That's exciting. And so we'll see if that book makes it to the New York Times bestseller list. And yeah, I'll be um promoting that book along with still doing my podcast, but I am transitioning into freelance writing quicker than I thought. That's great. That's really inspiring. You're very inspirational. Well, thank you for saying that. And I appreciate your time to come on this morning and talk to me about the podcast Lunch Club, and I hope you guys get new members based off this podcast. Thank you. I hope so, too. And I hope you guys enjoy another fabulous episode. Sorry we got technical. Sorry. But this is what I like. I like the tech side of podcast. It's <laughs> the show notes. If someone can show me a workflow for those show notes, I would be ever grateful. But we'll get into that point. And so I hope you guys enjoy another fabulous episode. This episode will probably be out next Monday if I can get my app together. And then I will give you guys a date small as to what's going on with the book and my life and everything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed another fabulous episode. Thanks to you guys. Thank you. Hello?